Saving for major purchases and life objectives is a terrific way to begin to appreciate the value of money and labor. The ability to begin forming a lifelong savings habit is an even greater advantage of learning how to save money as a teenager. When you're older and have bills and financial obligations, it's a lot harder lesson to learn. But if you start young, you might create some positive, enduring behaviors. It's never too late to start saving money, whether you're 13, 19, or anywhere in between, if you haven't already. Here are the procedures for getting started and maintaining the habit. Number 1. Open a savings account first. You'll always have a place to deposit the money you want to save for the future if you open a savings account now. If you're under 18, your parent will probably need to assist you in setting it up. Nearly all banks provide savings accounts, for recommendations, ask your parents where they bank or check with your neighborhood credit union. A high interest rate is a plus, and you'll definitely want to select one without a monthly charge or minimum balance requirement. Then, all you'll need to do is provide the necessary documentation and sign it in order to set up an account and begin saving. Considering creating a savings account online is another option, often, you will receive a better interest rate. Number 2. Make a target for yourself. Without a clear objective in mind, things are much more difficult to accomplish. Make a clear, attainable objective to make savings simpler. Want to have $1,000 for a trip by graduation? When you graduate from high school, will you need $2,000 for a down payment on your first vehicle? Divide large sums into more manageable weekly or monthly objectives to make saving seem more feasible. Number 3. Set up a budget. You'll be able to create a clear budget and give your savings top priority if you know how much you need to save to achieve your goal. Budgeting today will benefit you much when you start taking on extra expenses and other financial obligations. No matter your age, from 16 to 66, sticking to your budget is the hardest part of having one. Unfortunately, a lot of people develop the habit of foregoing their regular savings when they require additional cash flow. You'll be better off in the long run if you can kick that habit early on and consider saving a vital component of your monthly expenses. Number 4. Find strategies to reduce your spending. You'll have a lot more money to save if you can find ways to cut costs on the products you already buy. Visiting the mall with some friends? To save money on the items you would regularly purchase, check out the sales department of your favorite stores. Instead of going to the movies, propose having a movie night at home. After that, transfer the cash you would have spent to your savings account. Number 5. If you do not really really need it, wait 30 days before purchasing it. It's simple to overspend and make an impulsive purchase. Force yourself to halt the transaction if you find yourself in this predicament. Put the item back in the shelf and leave the store if you're there, close the browser if you're online. Note the item's name, its cost, why you want it, the name of the retailer, and the time. Consider the item for the following 30 days. Consider your reasons for wanting it, whether it is worth the cost, and whether you can live without it. You might use this waiting period to do some research to see if you can locate a better bargain. Consider buying the item if, after the 30-day trial period, you still decide you want it. The delayed gratification will make acquiring it feel so much better if you decide to buy it.